Hey guys, Pedro here to do an album review and today I'm here to talk to you guys about the brand new album from Cataclysm Meditations, out June 1st on Nuclear Blast. It's the band's 13th album and it has 10 tracks and it's 38 minutes in length. Now I really feel that this album combines a lot of the known DNA of the band, the death metal and melodic death metal uh, aspects of this band with some crossover thrash, thrash metal, groove metal. I really feel that there are, a, you know, a, a merger of different genres to really create songs that have a perfect symbiosis of aggression, of, of heaviness. And, and that was only possible by incorporating those different styles because those different styles coming together really offer real dynamic songs, songs that have a lot of brutality, a lot of heaviness, a lot of anger, but also a lot of grooviness, a lot of melody. So by incorporating all of these different styles, they were really able to create songs that within itself have their own life and their own dynamic. And then when put together in a 10 track album, give the album a lot of different feels, a lot of different looks, a lot of different textures. Uh, the album is really dynamic from that perspective because from song to song, the dynamic of, the, of, of each song changes depending on which which um, genre is influencing that specific creation. So they all have the same death metal, melodic death metal background to each song, but then all of them offer you a little bit of a different sprinkle of a different genre to really give each song its own DNA, its own life, its own presence, its own uniqueness, if you will. But the album is an absolutely brutal, aggressive, groovy and melodic at the same time it will really blast you through your speakers it's one of those albums that it's going to be very hard for a listener to feel indifferent to it because it just combines so many different aspects that really give the listener a sense of being overwhelmed not only by the sound but also by the the strong messages um in the lyrics of the songs i i also felt that they incorporated a, a lot of key characteristics from um, bands from those other genres. Like this, the album starts off with a spoken quote that says, for evil to triumph only takes good men to do nothing, which kind of reminded me of Biohazard and the song Punishment and how it starts with a quote from the movie, uh, The Punisher. So that kind of reminded me of that. And that quote at the start of this, of this album is part of the first song, Guillotine, and it really sets the tempo as far as the lyrics are concerned for the remainder of the album. I really like that intro it, it's so dark it's so heavy and it's so badass at the same time to have that spoken word quote at the beginning of the album part of the song guillotine i really liked it and like i said it really reminded me of biohazard and what they did with the song punishment but that's not the only thing i i really felt that a lot of the grooviness of this album was reminiscent of machine head early machine head from burn my eyes uh, era and, and it really had that grooviness and still groovy and melodic and heavy at the same time So they, to me they really were able to incorporate a lot of those key aspects a lot of those key elements from bands out, Not necessarily within their genre, but outside of their genre to really create an album that is very dynamic very fluid Very heavy very aggressive very brutal uh, But still very melodic and and that to me is, is the key factor and the melody is not necessarily given to us by really super cool melodic riffs and, and chords. It's really given to us at some, in some songs it is, but in some other songs, that melody is given to us by super groovy guitar riffs. The grooviness of the guitar riffs in some of the songs is the main factor and it's the main provider of melody to, the, to those songs. And I really like that. So that they were able to create melody in their songs, but in different ways and not in one formula that fits all. And that to me was key for this album because it really allowed for the listener to really go through 10 songs, picking up something different, something cool in each of the songs. There are not two songs alike in this album. Every song is very unique. Every song has its DNA. Every song stands on its own. Now, all of them have the same bass line, the same death metal, melodic death metal bass line, but they're all very different and unique because they all incorporate small key aspects that give each song its own life. Now, some of the key factors of this album that I must say is Mauricio's vocals. Absolutely incredible. It really, the raspiness in, in his voice really brings out anger and violence in the way he delivers each single line in the songs. I think it's an absolute uh, amazing vocal uh, performance from him in this album. It really fits the lyrics, it fits the tone of the songs, and it fits 
what the songs are all about. His raspiness is just so badass. It, it almost reminded me of old M.O.D. Like it just had that that uh, that dirty, that 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 raw feel to it. I really liked it, and it really matched perfectly well with the lyrics of the songs. Another key aspect that I m must mention is Ollie on the drums. This dude is an absolute beast. This guy ripped it up. He, he tore this whole album apart and left all the pieces for everybody else to pick up. Absolutely shredded this guy. Unbelievable drums in this album. I really like the way they've, they've, they've used the drums, not overusing blast beats, but using them in the right spots and the right songs to really provide e those songs with the, the necessary aggression to counterbalance the melody and the grooviness of the guitars. Really liked it. And that brings me to the last point, the guitars. The guitars are, are absolutely incredible in this album because they really alternate with melody, heavy guitar riffs, and then gro uh, groovy riffs. And all of those uh, three components of the guitars really play in all of the songs. They are really able to create a symbiosis of styles and, and of melodies and grooviness that really allows each song to have its own life and to have its own structure and its own beauty. I, I really enjoy how they combine all the instruments to come together and create an album that's so dynamic, it's so fluid. It, it's, it's an absolutely banger of an album. Now, as far as songs are concerned, my favorite songs, I, I, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna start with my favorite one, but I'm gonna start with one of my favorite ones and that's the song, And Then I Saw Blood. It's very, very melodic from a guitar's perspective. And, and I really believe that the guitar melody in that song is really the lifeline of the song. The heavy mel there is a heavy melody, if you will, uh, and that heavy melody is counterbalanced with a lot of cool, more melodic riffs. Now, that song has a solo that will me melt your face. Now, it won't melt your face because it's an absolutely blistering solo, but it will melt your face because of the melody employed in the solo. It's so drawn out, so mellowed out, so beautiful that it's impossible for you to just feel completely indifferent to the solo in this song. And that solo in this song is what sold me to And Then I Saw Blood. Absolutely incredible, beautiful song with a lot of beautiful melody uh, to it. Another song I have to mention is Outsider. Outsider is a song that just once again employs incredible groovy and heavy guitar riffs. It really merges those two, the grooviness and the heaviness of the guitar riffs. Creates a really dynamic life to the song that really climaxes in the chorus of the song. The chorus of the song is really where you start to feel that, that melody coming through. And I also like what they've incorporated in the song, which is a little bit of a spoken word in the, in, the, in the middle of the song that really gives the song a very dark and ominous vibe because it really breaks the, the grooviness the, and, and the brutality of the song and it just gives that, that ominous sense uh, to, the, to the song that I really like. Now, the finishing guitar riff of, of this song is, is so groovy and once again reminiscent of old Machine Head. It just really had that uh, grooviness, heaviness, and drawn out aspect to it that just reminded me of really early on Machine Head and I absolutely love that because it, it really comes, the melody of that riff, it really comes through the grooviness of the riff itself. So that to me is what makes this song an absolutely killer because you get that throughout the song, then you get that spoken word in the middle and then you get this to finish off the song and it just finishes it off with such a cool, groovy, and drawn out riff that it's just like, it's gold to your ears, I would say. Now, my absolute favorite song of this album is Guillotine, which is the first song of the album, which has that spoken word quote at the beginning that introduces you to this song. To me, this song has two components to it. It really has, uh, the, there's a guitar melody that shows up around the chorus time that's absolutely beautiful. One of the most beautiful guitar melodies that you'll hear in this album is in the chorus of Guillotine. It's just so beautiful, but it's it's beautiful, but it's it's dark at the same time. And it's kind of hard to explain because the, the darkness comes from of, of how beauty the, the how beautiful the the, the the melody is. And and those two combined really create for a for a very ominous and beautiful guitar melody right at the chorus. I really like that. And then the second aspect is you sprinkled in some of double double bass pedaling on the drums in the chorus and then outside of the chorus, but especially in the chorus, there's a really heavy part of the chorus where the drums really kick in that just give the song 
uh, the lifeline that it needs. This song is really a counterbalance of two aspects of of the drums and how heavy those drums are at cer at certain key points and the grooviness that then translates into a really beautiful melodic riff in the chorus. Those two things are the two components that give the life to this song and it's a very short song. It's I believe less than three minutes but it's such a high octane song that incorporates so much brutality in the drums and then opposite of that so much beauty and darkness in the guitars. Absolutely incredible song. One of my favorite songs of the album. I absolutely love it. Now, this is it. I mean, I really enjoy this album, Meditations from Cataclysm. Once again, out June 1st. Really love the album. I really love what they've done with the album and the incorporating of these genres into the album. And really, they gave this album a real throwback album. This album really feels like something that would be probably available in 1992, 1993. That's the vibe that I got when, when Groove Metal and that crossover thrash really started. Uh, and, and how they incorporated that into that death metal and melodic death metal sound that they have. It really created for a really cool, different sounding album. Something that you not necessarily hear it, uh, or hear a lot of it these days, but that was more predominant at that point, especially with some of the, of the throwback guitar riffs that they use in grooves, and also the incorporation of that quote at the beginning of the song, similar, like I said, to Biohazard and, Punish and Punishment. So I really like the album, it's a really good album, but I want to hear from you guys. What do you guys have to say about Cataclysm, about Meditations? Let me know in the comment section below. I'm looking forward to hearing your, your comments. Take care, guys.